everybody, we're live. How's everyone doing today? Let's, oh, I'll wait for everyone to join us so everyone can join us. Hi everyone, hi Haley, hi Ruby. How's everyone doing? Happy Saturday, happy Saturday. Uh, I'm here today because we have another very special live Instagram Q&A. Let's see who's joining us, Sarah's joining us. Hi Sarah. Today it's gonna be with Erin Greeny. A lot of people were asking for Erin. So of course, we had to get her here for you guys. It's raining in Arkansas. Chrissy, it's pretty, it's very hot in Orlando right now. Very hot, super sunny. Who is the guest today? Francis is asking. Hi from Mexico, hola, hola. Jill, Jill, we saw your tweet. You did have your Aaron jersey. And I might be asking Aaron a question from you, actually. Jill, so stay, stay with us today. All right, is everyone ready? Uh, let me see if Aaron is here so I can bring her to the chat. Give me one second. That is my camera. There it is. in the comment and let's see she's here all right let's get started connecting stay tuned jill i might ask your question hi oh my gosh i'm so close hi erin hi how are you i'm good how are you oh my gosh it's so close to my face i'm good how are you oh good thank you thank you you're good you want to fix the camera it, i know when we go live it like cuts i know cuts. it like zooms in on your face i'm like i wasn't that close but here i yeah. am <laughs> it looks great you look great uh so erin thank you so much for joining us on this sunny saturday perfect weather perfect beach weather i know it's beautiful <laughs> it is so thank you so much for joining us today uh, it's good to see you. I feel like I haven't seen you forever. I know. Forever. I know. I miss everybody. It just it's been months, like literally. <laughs> yeah. When, when did you get back to Orlando, actually? I got back on Monday, Monday okay. night. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Welcome. Welcome back to, welcome back to Florida. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, Ari, some of the fans, they, first of all, they were asking a lot about you. So, all ah. the we had to get you on here. Um, mm -hmm. So, they submit a couple questions. I went ahead and I selected uh, a couple of them for you to answer. Nice. And then it's going to be a live Q&A, fun. Um, they're going to be commenting too. So I might pick some questions from the, from the chat. So everyone keep commenting. And that's it. Yes. Ready, ready to start? Let's get this started. Let's go. Okay. Oh, actually, first of all, can you tell us about your puppy? There were so many questions <sighs> about your puppy. I could uh, select one of them. So can you just tell a very puppy? Yes. When did you get it? Yeah. Of course. So that is actually my sister, Lauren's puppy. His name is Theo. And he's, I think, like five months now. And so my sister was actually home when I was home too, which was really fun. Um, didn't really know that puppies were that much work. But there are definitely a lot. They're definitely super cute. But yeah, it was super nice having Theo there with me and my family when I was at home. It was definitely a lot of fun. So it's your sister's puppy. Got yeah, it. so it's my sister's puppy, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, so first question, Erin. Uh, this one comes from soccer underscore my 10. How old were you when you started playing soccer? I started playing soccer when I was like three, four. I got like really lucky because of course I did everything that my older sisters did. And so my dad actually coached um, my sister Lauren and Natalie's team. So he would always let me like jump in whenever I wanted. And I just fell in love with the game from there. <laughs> it's okay. Very young. You'll yeah. Oh, Jill, here's your question. So Jill is one of your biggest fans. She, she's wearing your jersey right now as we speak. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So she asked you, uh, what, are, what, are you excited to be playing with Taylor Korniak again? Jill oh, Carson. Right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Me and Taylor are actually really good friends at school. So when she got drafted here, it was just like, wow, like, let's, let's get this thing going. Like, it was really exciting. So it's been super fun having her here and like having um, another Buff family. I had Danica last year, obviously, and that was super fun. So 
yeah, I'm really happy that she's here with me. So she was, you were a senior when she was a junior, right? Or no, so I was a sophomore when she was a freshman. So she, I'm only a year oh, older okay. than her. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Conrad at Conrad Bratz wants to know, what is your favorite TV show? Are you watching something uh, during this quarantine time? So I just finished Outer Banks, which I really liked. And I just actually started last night. I haven't finished it yet, but the Michelle Obama documentary on Netflix. And I love Michelle Obama and that was really good. But I'm only like 20 minutes into it, but it's really good. I highly suggest watching it. I, I watched that and like, it's it's great. It's just one episode, right? It's, just, it's pretty much like oh, yeah, a it's movie. Just one thing. Oh, yeah. yeah, but so worth it. I love her. <laughs> It is. I love the documentary. For me, it could be like a, a show, actually, with more episodes. Yeah. It fell short oh for me. For sure. I would love that. <laughs> uh, next question, Erin, comes from at Big81. Who is the funniest on the team? I think we have an idea. But who is the um, funniest on the team for you? There is a lot of funny people on the team. Let me just say that. Like, I feel like the obvious one would probably be like, Bridget, you know, like she's just Bridget, you know. <laughs> I feel, and obviously Emily Von Eggman's really funny too. I really miss her. I miss both of her a lot. But I think the one that people probably wouldn't think is Camilla. I think Camilla is so funny. Camilla, yeah. huh? Okay. Yeah. There it is. Really, yeah, really low key, but she's really funny. Okay, Camilla. There. But <laughs> She, she, I've been talking to Camilla. I said, Camilla, you got to start doing the, the English, the speaking English, because she's tricky. She I pretends know. that she, Erin, she pretends that she doesn't understand, that she doesn't speak English. I know, but that's what makes it so funny, because she definitely knows what's happening, but she just keeps it to herself. But yeah. I think she's super funny. She's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, this one, Erin, in my opinion... You gotta be, you gotta think before you answer. Okay. Okay. This one oh. comes from at Marissa Vigiano. <gasps> Who is your favorite roommate? <laughs> well. Listen, before you answer, before you answer, I heard okay. that she makes a killer banana bread. Oh my, She knows yes. how to bake. So be careful because she might not <laughs> make for you again. Yeah, no. That banana bread just, it literally goes by in like an hour. We eat that right out of the oven. It's so good. Um, I would say it's definitely Ty, but I'm going to say Riz just because she's right here. Hi, Riz. <laughs> there it is. Good. By the way, tell Marissa she needs to um, record herself making the banana bread so we can learn. Yes. I kept Marissa? telling her that she should start making videos. Yes. I kept saying that. Matt, you guys have a food account. What's your food account? Cooking with Riz. Cooking with Riz. Everybody go follow Cooking with Riz. Cooking, Cooking with Riz. Riz. Okay. Is the banana bread uh, recipe there? Is it? Bit, it's on there. And lots of good, like a lot of good recipes are on there. So everybody good. should. Definitely. Everyone go follow. Go follow the account. Awesome. <laughs> um, next question, Erin, comes from Ash underscore Hiller. Uh, what is your favorite pregame and postgame meal? Ooh, that's a good one. My pregame meal. Post game, I'm usually honestly not that hungry after I play a game. But um my pregame meal would definitely be like some pasta, veggies. Um definitely pasta and veggies for sure. What is your favorite yeah. cheat meal? Ooh. That's hard. I have a really big sweet tooth. So definitely like brownies or like cookies or something like that. Yeah. Oh, can't go wrong with brownies or cookies ever. Yeah. Never, <laughs> ever. Never, ever. Uh, another question from someone that you probably know. <sighs> Coming from at uh, Danica Evans. How much do you miss uh, Danica Evans? I miss her so much. I really do miss her a lot. I wish she was here with so with us, but yeah, yeah I miss her a lot. 
this one comes from uh, at again soccer underscore Maya ten. Um, what made you want to become a professional soccer player? Um, I think that's just always been a dream of mine. Like ever since that, um, I started playing soccer. Like for I mean, like it's the dream. I get to play the sport that I love as my job. Like it's awesome. Let's see. Let me get a question from the chat now. Okay. Let's see. Let's do it. Send your questions. Uh, oh, yeah. What is the favorite place you ever traveled to? Ooh, that's a good question. I on it. Oof, that's, that's tough. Um, I really liked Jamaica. I went with my mom um, probably like three or four summers ago, and I love it. I'm like, Kanya, I'm visiting you ASAP. ASAP. <laughs> it is yeah. beautiful. It's awesome there. Uh, another question from Jill Carson. Um, what is your favorite song at the moment? Oof. Dang, you're hitting me with these hard ones now. Um, <laughs> you saved the best for last. Uh, the hardest uh, for last. My favorite song. Well, I really like K Camp's new album. I really like it's on repeat. But my favorite song. I like want to go into my Apple Music right now and look. Um, <laughs> What's something that I, you cannot stop listening to right now? Um, I would say. I would want. Um, I would say. Um, the song, probably Ice Cold K Camp, just because I really like the album right now. Awesome. I don't think I ever listened to that. You should. Really. Good. I'll get on that. <laughs> On that note, Ed Empire Portia wants to know who is your favorite singer of all time? Singer? Oh my gosh. Um, there's so many. My, I, like, I really like Adele. Like her voice is oh. just one of a kind. So definitely. Adele, Adele, yeah. One of my favorite. You know what I can't wait for? Her next album. Imagine I know. she had all of this time right now to write something, and I cannot imagine what that's going to look like. I know. It's such a crazy. It is, Adele. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, act connecting cutting. What players do you emulate on the pitch? So what players are do you look up to? On, on the, the team? Pitch? Yeah, it could be from the team. Yeah. That's a lot. I mean... I think one player that I emulate on and off the field would definitely be like Alon, Lons, Alana Kennedy, mm -hmm. just because I think she was kind of like, I feel like my kind of like my role model last season, like she really like took me under her wing and helped me out a lot, which like, I really appreciate. But like, I think that she's unique because she has so much experience at a young age. So she can relate because she's still young. She's, but she's done everything that she has so she can um relate to like being young but also she can help us and she helps like advocate for the young players too which is like awesome as well so definitely lawns i miss her she's a great person as well she's awesome i know yeah. she's awesome <laughs> uh i have another question from cv mcfarland uh what do you like to do in your spare time and this one comes all the way from new zealand Ooh, cool um my spirit. I like to, so I like to, um, I like to do illustrator. I like art. I like photography. Um, I love to go to the beach. Um, I love being with family and friends. Um, I really like to keep busy. I like when I'm in Orlando, I'm always going fortunate that there's so many beautiful lakes that you can walk around and everything like that. So I just really like to be outside and, um, yeah. Awesome. At Lady is asking, what is your favorite hobby other than soccer? My hobby? Uh, you have I, would a hobby? Say, I would definitely say photography. Yeah. Photography. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Let's see. Keep sending questions, guys. Um, guys, I'm yes. going to take a couple more. Let's go. Coming. Can I, like, scroll down? Of course. Ooh, I can. Of course. Josh Tall underscore 12. What's up? Childhood nickname. Oh, Steph. My childhood nick nickname is Boo, Boo Boo. 
how like my family and my childhood friends call me Boo. Boo, okay. Do we have a, another one from uh, our scene faithful? I have a question from South Africa, Cape Town. It's what so is your awesome. favorite football, football trick? Trick? Trick. Um, I guess like a, like a dribble? A move? <laughs> <laughs> a move. I like to I like the step over. I love it. It's fun. Step over. Let's see. Pick you pick one now, Erin. I pick one, you pick one. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, I, I see one here. Okay. Three teammates to be stuck on an island with. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> funny. Um <laughs> Definitely Marissa, for sure, Riss. Um, come on, okay, this is okay. Let me think about <laughs> this. This is a serious question. You have to survive an island. I know. Okay, definitely Riss. Um, I would say probably Allie Krieger, for sure. And who else? You know, I haven't met her yet, but the Erin, um, the other Erin, mm -hmm. I think that she would be a good person to be stuck on an island with. I actually have never met her, but <laughs> I met the, I don't know if you were on the meditation yesterday, but I loved it. Okay. Were you on that? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to watching the video though. I know. So Erin, yeah. Marissa, and Allie? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Even if you don't know Erin yet, I think that's actually be great because then you have a lot of time to get to know someone stuck on an island. Exactly. Great. Yeah, exactly. Well At ja J Maynard underscore 21, I might know this person, uh, Jackie Maynard. Talk about the banger of a first pro goal. Uh, oh, that was awesome. Um, for, for the people who didn't, who didn't know, can you describe us the goal to you? Yeah. How much you so, meant? Yeah, so it was against Portland, and we were playing at Portland. And that was probably, like, the biggest stadium I've ever played in before. I was, like, pretty nervous. And um, we were losing 3-2, to two and Marta did a free kick in the box, and it kind of just um, – it just placed, and I hit it, and it went in, and it was – Honestly, like a really, I'll never forget that moment. It was awesome. And it was cool because actually my parents were there too. So that made it even more special. Yeah. Oh, they made it to the game. They were there watching. Yeah, they were there at Portland. Yeah. Too. Makes, so it was really cool. Very special. Erin, yeah. I'll let you, I'll let you pick your last question. Okay. So you get to pick the last question. You scroll it. Let's see. Okay, let's, let's make it a good one. Yes. For those of you joining us now, Erin Greeny speaking her last question for the My last Q &A. question. Her last question. And we got to make it a good one. <laughs> okay, let's I'm trying to get a good one. You can look too. But I'll let you pick. This is your show. Okay. I'm ju I'm just here. Okay, okay. I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. Um Send questions, people. Okay. Yeah, let's send some questions. Okay, I'm just gonna. Um. Ooh. Ah, oh, Chi. <laughs> Hopefully, Chi's still watching this. I miss you, Chi Chi. Oh, I'll I'll answer this. Will you ever coach? And that was from my club that I grew up playing for. Shout out Bay Oaks. I really love that. That's my childhood. That's my family right there. Um, will you ever coach? Yes, I really do want to coach. I do um, private sessions, and, like, I fell in love with it. Um, so, yeah, I definitely am going to coach in the future. Um, yeah. That's it. Great question. Great answer. And Bridget said <laughs> that she misses your yellow jacket. What yellow jacket is that? <laughs> wait, who? Wait, who uh, asked Bridget. That? Bridget Callahan. Bridget. Um, 
That's actually funny because I was going to wear that yellow jacket and I didn't because I already knew somebody was going to comment on it. It's my favorite yellow sweatshirt and yeah, the people, I, I just wear it a lot, I guess. It's a cool sweatshirt. There's just some haters. Oh, Bridget, you jealous, Bridget? I think Bridget, come on. Yeah, where's Bridget at? She probably left. Let's take a look. Oh, but no, Bridget is here, and Donica is also here. Donica, she, I made her answer your question. <gasps> she misses you. Ah, oh, I miss Danica. <laughs> I'm getting a virtual hug. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Yeah. yeah. But Erin, thank you so much for, for taking the time to, to join us today. Thank you. For, I am yeah. the most jealous, Bridget, to say. <laughs> uh, uh, well, thank you, everybody, for being here and asking me all these questions. It was really fun. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us live. All the players to join, all the fans. Yes. Aaron, thank you, guys. It's good to have you back. And everyone, always keep supporting the Pride. Always yes. here for you Go guys. Pride. And Go stay Pride. tuned for more live and fun Q&As. You take yes. care, Aaron. It's good seeing you. Bye. Go Perp. Go Perp. Let's go. Bye. <laughs>